Welcome back to Brightside here on 10 Tampa Bay. We are your hurricane headquarters and we have also officially run out of storm names in the 2020 hurricane season. That means we've gone Greek. Alpha and Beta have already formed and Gamma would be next. It's something that actually hasn't happened except for once and that was back in 2005. Let's go beyond the headline this morning to see how storms are formed and, and why. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says tropical storms and hurricanes were tracked by number and year until the 1950s. But the experts decided short, easily remembered names would be better for communication, especially if several storms were being tracked at once. At first, it was just female names, but by 1979, male and female names were used for storms in the Atlantic Basin. NOAA's National Hurricane Center does not decide the names. That's the responsibility of the World Meteorological Organization. So, there are six lists with 21 names each, one for every letter of the alphabet, except for Q, U, X, Y, and Z. The lists are used on a six-year rotation, and it only changes if a storm is so deadly or costly that the name is retired, and using it again just wouldn't be appropriate. Then, if there are more than 21 named storms in the season, any additional tropical storms or hurricanes will take the names from the Greek alphabet. It's crazy to think that we've had now 23 named storms in, in just one season. Going back to the first name of the season, that was Arthur, and then it B was Bertha. You see how it also alternates between male and female names. And there we are with Alpha and Beta and Gamma coming up next. Here